Fig <laughs> Ultra Fig Newton reviews. Yeah. What other flavors of Fig Newtons do they have? Yeah. The fig and berries. <laughs> I really hope you have the hiccups. I'm gonna. Entire review. <laughs> you look really small. A lot, a lot shorter than me. Because <laughs> the chair. How's that? There you go. It's better. Do I look tall as you? You're know? taller now. But it's better. Oh, there we go. There. Perfect. All right, welcome to a normal video. Me and my associate. Associate. <laughs> associate. Walmart uh, associate. I'd rather be a Coles associate though. You get Coles cash. Coles cash. Coles the perks. Coles cash. You, all your burps and hiccups. Yes. Got the sense of those. Burps, <laughs> sense of the hiccups. <laughs> with bleeps. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. This Hi. This is my first time doing this. We're trying to do a normal video today. Me and my friend here, I coaxed him into uh, mm. helping me do this video. He's been collecting figures a little longer than I have, so he's built up a better collection than me. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little, little bit longer. I'm I have the hiccup, so I'm going to be hiccuping this whole video. <laughs> we picked our five favorite figures from our collections, and we're going to do a little show and tell today. We don't do normal videos. They're usually crazy. And it's we're already off to a I'd great say start. Fig Ultra Top 5 Figure Review Video. Ugh. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Starting off with a bang. My first favorite figure from my collection. Funko Pop Suicide Squad Joker. Funko Pop. You want to know how I got these scars? I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> dust on them too. You know what I have to dust off figures? A makeup brush and it works pretty well. To give her the brush. That's a pro tip right here. Makeup. It's it's very soft, oh. very fine, so you don't break anything either. The dust adds aesthetic. Yeah, for my first figure of this figure, <laughs> our favorite figures, I'm gonna have to start with my literal first figure. Pretty sure it's my first, at least my first Nendroid, because this actually was what got me <laughs> initially into <laughs> Collecting Sorry. figures. Was that a Yumicon buy? Yes. Did you get that we'll Yumicon? start over your damn hiccups. It's gonna. You can wait until I'm done. You need a pat on the back. I don't know how to get rid of them. No, I think this was actually my first figure, and I think I actually have a video of her. <laughs> or like in the box, we got it from the Yumicon. What little... was that? Yumicon 2017 or 2016? Probably 17. It was like we first went into the dealer's room. And I really didn't know anything about figure collecting or like figures in general. So I was like, oh, all these figures and stuff. And I was just kind of looking. And it was like right after I finished watching Kill a Kill for the first time, I seen her face up in the booth. And I was like, oh my God, it's a Kill a Kill figure. I had no idea. And it was cute. I had no idea what an Android was. And I was, I actually talked the dealer down like 10 bucks. I remember, I remember you were, you were doing that. And I tried to do it because I wanted the main Android. Uh, but that was like just released oh. and he's like no way am I uh, lowering that price for you oh my god so I felt like an idiot after I tried it <laughs> he, he, he looked at me like as an idiot asking for like ten dollars off like a brand new figure I uh, I just told the guys like I don't remember how much it was originally but it was like I got this much I got sixty dollars <laughs> will you give it to me for that he's like yeah, yeah sure <laughs> I lied I actually had more than that okay so I your buying tip number one also, one of my favorite all-time female just characters in general from one of my favorite animes. So I'm super happy. Wasn't, this is my first. Wasn't the voice actor at the con that year as well? Was someone that, from the show. That, someone from no. the show. I don't know if it was. Her no, that was the, that was the year before. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they all, all the blend. years. All the years are getting mixed together. They blend together at this time, time anymore. We're, we're getting old. All right, don't move. So, don't touch yeah, the table. Cool. Okay. Next figure. So right here, this is my my first one that I have. It's. Uh, Samus Figma from Metroid Prime 3. Um, I know there's another Samus Figma out there. I think it's from Metroid Other M from the Wii. But this was my um, my first figure, I think, that really sold me on I want to get into collecting mm -hmm. and spending a lot of money on these when I know I shouldn't, <laughs> but I'm doing it anyways. This is I've always been a collector of things, and this is what turned the tide into figures are going to be what I collect next. Um, Want the and, sicko mode? On. Yeah, pretty much. I was I was already in love with the Figma line. Figma, uh, that's my favorite line of figures um, because to me, um, articulation and posability are yeah. my top priorities. Um, and then, you know, if it looks good, that comes next to me. And speaking of looks, uh, so Samus has, you know, 
kind of the, kind of the mech look. You know, it's a mobile mobile armor, a suit of armor. Um, so that is definitely my favorite aesthetic. You'll see a lot of my figures are gonna have, um, you know, uh, robot looking figures. That's yeah. that's right up my alley. I uh, pre-ordered it. Um, I remember it came in on Black Friday of 2017. I think if you look. It's been my profile picture on Instagram the entire time. Um, you know, I just took it out of the box, and that was my first time really uh, playing around with with posing figures and taking pictures. Um, back then, it was yeah. just on my phone. <laughs> so my profile picture on Instagram is just Samus on a banana. Um, that was the prop I chose to use. Um, shout out on Instagram. Fig Cap Ultra. Fig Cap Ultra. That's what I stole Fig Ultra from. Pretty much. He asked <laughs> if he could use it. So this is my oh. Yeah. Okay. She didn't said, fall. <laughs> got those heavy shoulders. Yeah. Those I just, are big. I just, I just <laughs> love the look. The, de the detail's great. Yeah. You can do awesome poses. Those come with morph ball mode right there. So there's that. The dreaded morph ball. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I'm I'm not like the biggest Metroid fan or anything. You know, I've I've played some of them. Never even finished the original. I think Met Metroid Prime Hunters on the original DS yes. player on the yes. DS. Nothing we went beats to, it. We went to McDonald's and used their to free Wi-Fi. <laughs> Nintendo Wi-Fi. It was McDonald's was a designated Nintendo Wi-Fi connection hotspot. Really? Like a yeah. like official yeah. certified yeah. Nintendo licensed yeah. Wi-Fi center. You go on their website and look it up. So yeah, there are days where we would just go to McDonald's to play our DSs online. Yes. We I think we had to order age. something or else they would have kicked us out. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's going down. I'm keeping on the Nendroid run here. Number two from my favorite collection, the Nendroid Rinshima from the anime Yuru Camp, which is oddly one of my favorite animes. <laughs> I just like the aesthetic, and since I love the outdoors and camping, this was my first uh, review, and the only figure so far that's got a five out of five. I found the <laughs> Nendroid online before I seen the show at all. I, ha I had no idea what the show was. I just seen a, a little figure camping and I said that's super cute. I had no idea it was from a show. Looked it up from the show, watched the show, bought the figure right after. <laughs> I took her a couple times on her little figure vlogs. Yeah, that was kind of our first That was yeah. our first trip taking figures out. Um, yeah, that was the first time doing that too. I believe we stayed in uh, the log cabin. Yes. And so it's so, kind of like camping. It was a rustic log cabin. Yeah, we and, you know, we always go on trips and stuff, but that was the first time we actually took figures to take pictures of them yes. on a trip. So. And it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So we kept doing it. And she will definitely go be going out more. I have more of her friends coming on the way. All right, for uh, my next figure. Um, so this one, uh, this one stands out in my collection uh, for a few different reasons. Um, for number one, it's definitely the most expensive figure I own. Yeah. Um, and for number two, this is, Care to uh, share the price? I guess, what they call uh, my holy grail figure. Ooh. Um, so this is the uh, Metal Build yeah, show Eva that 01. Box. That's a cool right box, here. though. Big box, metallic box, pretty cool box. Um, I know so, nothing yeah. about this yeah. figure. So, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Um, you know, I've watched the show. Yes, it's a it's a great show. You know, it's all symbolic and stuff. Um, but I don't really care about that. It has giant, <laughs> awesome looking robots. And the Eva O One, this color scheme, the the purple, the neon green, the orange, it doesn't get much cooler than that. As I mentioned before, I I love robots. Um, and robots. this right here, this mech is is amazing. The holy grail of robots. Yeah. So you know, the metal build line. Want to surpass Metal Gear? <laughs> yeah. So it's it's tall, you know. It's not the normal. I usually stay on like the one twelfth scale of like yeah. Figma and stuff. This one's a little bit taller. I don't know the exact dimensions or anything off the top of my head. Um, but they call it metal build because the joints, like it has a metal frame. So the outside, it's still you know plastic and whatnot. But you can see the metal joints um, in in you know, like the kneecaps or something like that or the elbows. So it is quite hefty. It's heavier than a. Normal, normal figure in this. I don't remember the website Ooh, it does got some that I ordered it. it from, which is a good thing because it was the most miserable experience I've had ordering a figure ever. <laughs> it was happened? terrible. <laughs> the, the customer service was basically yeah. non-existent. It comes with a lot of accessories. It comes. It doesn't have like, uh, you know, like a stand or anything like like a Figma or an Android, but no. it does have a uh, like a, a loading bay, like a dock for it to stand on that actually holds all of its weapons and everything as well. So how big the figure is, how awesome it looks, um, 
you know, the quality of it, and on top of all that, the posability of it is is amazing. You can really get some cool shots with this. Mm -hmm. um, it basically has the posability of a Figma, um, and then, you know, the quality of like a, a scale figure. The colors do remind me of the Raptor roller coaster from Cedar from Point. Cedar Point, yes, <laughs> pretty much. Okay, next, figure number three, favorite figure number three. Amane Suzaha from the one and only, one of the best anime around, Steins Gate Boy. <laughs> one of my favorites. She's definitely in my top five as well. Probably. Yes. She was oddly one of my favorite characters from the show. Just liked her attitude and stuff. She was a badass. No spoilers or anything, but she's a total badass. She was like one of my first times just kind of looking for figures online. After I bought a few Nendroids, I kind of wanted to do some, like, okay, let's look up some animes and see if there's figures for them. Steins Gate, of course, let's see what they to got. To my surprise, to my there's surprise. a shit ton. <laughs> there's a lot. This one right here, like, stunned me. It just looking at the details on the bike, yeah, like, it's... like everything, the pedals <laughs> move, it can turn, it can pull wheelies, you can do bunny hops on it. There's tread on the tire, too. <laughs> brakes that, yeah, brakes don't work. Brakes don't wear no. out! <laughs> And I thought it was funny. I, I imagine she's drinking some DK pepper in that cup. If you watch as Fig Ultra goes on, my figure collecting, I like normal clothing characters, or like alternate versions of normal clothing characters, and the side characters for some reason. I'll have a lot of random side characters reviews coming out. And for some reason, I like bikes and I knew bike riding for some weird reason was going to be part of my channel. <laughs> We've been on bike rides. I do late night bike ride music videos. So this was like an odd, like a staple. She's like a staple of this channel. And I really love the, the bike represented somehow my channel. Like it kind of tied in together. Favorite, favorite character from the anime. One of my favorite animes. One of my favorite pastimes. Bike riding. Suzuha. And she was also my first I guess more expensive, higher quality figures. Found her used. She came from Canada. <laughs> this is like an insanely detailed bike. I can't, I like, I can't believe it. Like, it was funny. I'm surprised everything doesn't move on it. Like it looks like it will. A lot of it does. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was funny. I was like, that's a cool figure. Then I seen close ups of the bike. I was like, right. damn, that's a nice <laughs> bike. And instead of checking out the her behind, I was checking out the treads on the tires. <laughs> Round three, that fight. Was fun. Okay. Uh, so next up, um, I have yet again another Figma. Um, this time it is Ludens from Kojima Productions. So it's just their mascot, um, just this you know skull face guy in a astronaut looking suit. It wasn't um, in the game or anything. He's just uh, some sort of no, mascot not that came not really in the game. Yeah. No, I love the character design um, because it has hints of that mech design on it. You know, <laughs> just armor, mech, metal. You know, I just I just love that. We're coming um, to a trend here. Yeah, pretty much. And there's there's gonna be a trend on my next my next <laughs> two figures as well. It was quite expensive for a Figma, uh, but it is pretty hefty. It actually has some metal joints inside as well, so it's pretty heavy. Um, but sadly, his joints seem to be uh, deteriorating a little bit. He's very loose. He's huh. only standing up on his own because of the uh, the flagpole right. right there. He almost has that uh, Michelin tire man look to him. <laughs> he he's, he's very very hefty. I've got some cool shots of him, you know, out out in the uh, the nature scenery and our trips and stuff. Um, got a couple videos and, with you know, him in it. So I, I bought it before I even played Death Stranding. I played Death Stranding. It was one of my favorite games to come out in the past year. Yeah. Um, and I think my favorite thing about Death Stranding is their uh, iconography. All the logos in the game, I, I love them. Uh, I just can't get enough of them. I think they're very well designed. Uh, they're insanely sick looking. Um, so even just the Kojima Productions, uh, you know, it's the Luden's head right there is their main logo. I, think I thought that was really like cool. The, the same guy that's been doing like since Metal Gear 1. Yeah, the art. I don't remember his name. Uh, his art, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know there's a black variant of, of this. And um, a female variant. There is. Now. <laughs> yeah, I would get that one, but that's a model kit. Mm -hmm. and I'm not too keen on model kits. Mm -hmm. I know there's a large one-sixth scale Ludens from 1000 Toys, <laughs> but that's like G.I. Joe size. So. Honestly, I don't know much of I don't know if there is more backstory to the character or not. All I know is that he's Kojima Productions mascot. Um, that's all you need. That's all I need because <laughs> if it looks cool. cool, I'm pleased. Yeah. We're on to figure number four. And it's my turn to go the video game route. And of course, going with one of my all-time 
It could be my number one favorite game out of like everything I've played. Silent Hill 2, one of the weirdest, freakiest, scariest characters in any horror medium there is. Especially when you're like young, seven, year, seven years old playing these games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Way too young to be yes. playing this. I um, remember I rented Silent Hill in like third grade, I think. Uh, official name is Red Pyramid Thing. That's like the official, the creator called him that, but everybody knows and loves him as Pyramid Head. Because the big thing on his head. The Pyramid Head. The Pyramid Head. Silent Hill 2, I'm not gonna say, has it's my all time favorite like soundtrack or OST. I think Persona 5 beat it out. Akira Yamaoka is one of like my favorite kind of video game composers, Japanese composers. His music's weird and awesome, and I love <laughs> It doesn't like follow the normal creepy route. It's like melodic and like so odd. And it's probably like my number one like artistic music video game composition, but it's not as listenable. So <laughs> Persona 5 beat it out. I can just listen to Persona 5 tracks anytime. And it's like the one good thing Konami actually did <laughs> right. to Silent Hill is yeah. gave us an official good looking licensed pyramid head figure. I'm surprised this fits on the stand. <laughs> Action! Alright, uh, so up next, um, I have uh, the God of War statue from God of War 2018, uh, Collector's Edition for PS4. Um, so this kind of goes in the theme, my last figure was from a PS4 game, so is this one. Um, but this one stands out, because as you can tell, it is not a Figma. Um, this is <laughs> yes. probably my favorite non, like, just statue. Yeah. Um, so non-posable figure um, right here and it being from a collector's edition and a game <laughs> those are very hit or miss yes because I used to order collector's editions all the time and most of the time it is just plastic crap that you're paying like an extra fifty dollars for you sometimes this time, way more I felt um, you know I felt like I got my money's worth for the collector's edition mm -hmm. because the statue is actually pretty awesome you know it's not the highest quality but you know all the characters look exactly how they're supposed to look. Kratos, Atreus, <laughs> yeah. these blokes down here, this guy's getting his head chopped off. I didn't see that um, guy. I really like the effect they did with the axe right here. Um, you know, it's like that translucent. Um, mm. I don't know if he's got like an ice rune or what. I don't It's been a while since I played yeah. it. Some sort of runic power on his axe right there, but that's really awesome. Uh, Atreus' bow, you know, that actually has string on it. Yeah. The arrow's sticking right out of that guy's skull. Uh, it's a very f uh, photogenic statue. I've yeah. taken some great photos of it. There's just a lot going on. They're you can imposed. see their you can see their emotion. Yeah. Um, they're just there to kick the shit out of these guys. <laughs> yeah. um, God of War 2018 is probably my favorite modern video game. Wow! Um, yeah. In the past, you know, I don't know. At least for the PS4 generation, yeah, it's definitely my favorite game that I've played. Um, it was it was an experience for me. So I'm glad I bought the collector's collector's edition. Yeah. Well, not for, not the first time playing Gears of uh, Gears of War four. <laughs> God, uh, yeah, yeah, like so memorable. Gears of War four. <laughs> the last, no spoilers. Like the last scene where <clears throat> you and uh, Boy were fighting the last <clears throat> boss, and just like the way it was choreographed and the fighting. Like I'm not a very verbal. I don't react strongly to videos or video games. I just kind of keep everything in here that was like the first time like a video game in a long time made me like react like i was like what i did the the reaction faces <laughs> that are yes. those, those video game thumbnails like <clears throat> just like when you're hitting the buttons like every little action yeah. in that cinematic event like had me like going like yeah <laughs> like, yeah i know like it's cheering just... and going that was awesome like yeah, it was that... like an experience it was. That's that's how I feel. It wasn't a game. It was an experience. Um, yeah. I played the whole game with, with headphones on, and I feel like right. that made a huge difference. Just the soundtrack and the sound effects. It was like holy crap! I can't <laughs> believe this is happening. Yeah. And I remember I I finished playing it, and I let you borrow it. I said you have to play this game. Yeah. I was like, okay. if you own a PS4, you have to play this game. Please yeah. just play it. Yeah. It's really good. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Favorite figure number five. It's all been leading up to this. So I mentioned this game a few times already. Persona 5. Uh, I've talked about how I like side characters. Cool side characters from video games and anime. Here she is. 
I never seen it coming. <laughs> when, when they announced her, I would have never expected this random side character to even get a like a, a, a nod. When you make a goth doctor, you're gonna have fans. <laughs> There's gonna be fans of a goth doctor. It's so For weird. Sure. It's the it's a beautiful combination. I remember seeing you play Persona 5 the first time. I never I never really paid attention to the Persona series up until then. I played Persona 4 and then Vito. Um, and then 5. I think that was another game where I was like, hey, you should play this. I think you'd like it. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I remember just like sitting down watching you play it. And it's like, like there's like goes from like anime to video games. And it was like mm -hmm. even enjoyable just to watch. Just like the des overall designs mm -hmm. and like atmosphere of the game. The layouts of the HUD, like everything, just like yeah, it pops. <laughs> it's, it's nuts. And then I seen you talking to this character, and I was like, "That's a really badass chick right there." <laughs> I was like, "That's a really cool character." I don't know why. So just selling look. you drugs on the down low. So. <laughs> yes. Yes. Is the chair actually a cushion? Oh, no. no. It's, it's very convincing. The detail is amazing because I thought yes. that was a cushion chair. The toenails the painted. Yes. But that's important to a lot of people, all you foot fetish freaks. She's got the toes exposed right there. I'm not a toe guy, but, <laughs> by the way. The legs, the legs are alright. I'm. She kind of made me a leg guy. I appreciate the legs more. The chair is amazing. The chair is what's blowing me away right here. Again. Look at it, it swivels. Just, the wheels move? No. Oh, okay. Just That'd like, be too good to be true. Just like uh, Suzaha's bike. Yeah. The, de the extra little details. It's like an awesome first time purchase to like fully go out. I'm like one of my favorite yeah. characters from my favorite game, favorite soundtrack, Persona 5, boy. Fifth favorite figure, Persona 5, P5, favorite 5. I didn't do that on purpose, I swear. All right. Wrapping uh, things up. For my off final the video pick, with a bang. we're going back to the Figmas. Back to the Figs. We're continuing with the Sony PlayStation 4 games. Uh, we <laughs> yeah, have right. the Exclusives. Hunter from Bloodborne. Ain't right no here. Xbox games up here. You know why? Because they don't make Sea of Thieves Figmas. Sorry, Phil. Damn. <laughs> shame. Shame. <laughs> no, um, if they made them, I might buy them. We, lo we love Who you, knows? Phil. We love you, Phil. The good guy. <laughs> um, so, as you notice, uh, this one is still in the box, uh, mainly because this has never been opened. We got the seal right seal there. Seal of approval. So I ordered this uh, just because, you know, I, I love Bloodborne. Uh, Bloodborne is the reason I bought a PS4 at the time I did. Yeah. Um, because I didn't have a PS4 at launch. I was, uh, you know, playing on my Xbox One. Um, and then Bloodborne came out. Never even played a Dark Souls game before that. <laughs> and I said, this game looks awesome. So, yes. uh, I got myself a PS4. I got Bloodborne. Um, got my ass handed to me multiple <laughs> times. My only regret is I wish I would have done the Good Smile pre-order because that came um, with the little skeletons in the top hat as a pre-order bonus off of their website. So, um, I don't know why, I've just never opened this one. Um, I guess I want to keep it mint, uh, brand new, collector's edition. Um, I think I'll open it at one point. Live uh, unboxing right here on video. We could, might as well. Um, you know, look at the back, look at these poses. I want that. I don't know why, for some reason, uh, as I said before, you know, I'm a collector of, I've collected many things throughout my life yeah. and just knowing that something that I have is worth a lot of money, um, <laughs> I don't know, that's uh, comforting to me because I'm, I mean, I don't think I'll ever sell yeah. it, but just knowing if I had to, yeah. it could get a decent price until they decide to reprint it, which they probably will. Yes, um, once Bloodborne 2 yeah, comes I out. I know. I think Dark Souls 3 <laughs> is my favorite of the Soulsborne, but Bloodborne is definitely like the coolest overall concept the every, look, everything yeah, yeah the look it's got going the atmosphere in the yeah. game is just it's just oozing with atmosphere yeah i was saying silent hill 2 that was like the first time being kind of scared actually playing this game actually freaked me out like i was <laughs> yeah. afraid i the, like go around corners and stuff i was afraid of dying torches and whatnot <laughs> for the 1900th time <laughs> right i'll always have this figure in my collection i'll open it one day you got to check the instagram thick cap ultra Fig Cap Ultra. Bother Maybe you'll see it. a picture of it one day. Who knows? Fine. We won't open it. He's thinking about it. No, not He's staring at it. It's going right into his soul. <clears throat> okay, everyone, that wraps up the video. It was kind of cool to do this. It's nice to reminisce. And, reminisce. You know, Fairly early some... on in at least my collecting stage, I have a ton of figures pre-ordered that are... <laughs> 
trapped in Japan. Maybe that's the next video. Top five figures trapped in Japan on pre-order. It was nice to have some, uh, you know, self-reflection and to look back on you know, why, you, why you got things. Yeah, no, let's not think about that. Funko Pops. Top five Top Funko five Pops. Funko Pops. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that wraps it up. We might do some more normal kind of videos like this rather than reviews and uh, vlogs and stuff. So look out for those. Who knows? This was, if this, people like this video, we'll do more. Peace. Peace.